Hello, hello, and welcome back, or welcome. This is a book haul, and it is a little bit late because I've had other videos going on, and then when I was supposed to film this, I didn't have time, so we're like a week behind. I'm very stressed, but books make me happy, so we'll talk about books. I've got to calm me down a little bit. It'll all be fine, it'll all be fine. Right, book haul. This is my March and April book haul. Now what I've realised when I was getting my books out for this video is that I've already lent some of them to my mum because I already read them. So I don't have all of the books here that I actually bought. Um, I haven't done too badly to be honest in terms of what I bought um, but I am definitely already missing some. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah this is March and April. Is that right? Surely. Yes, I think it is because last time you would have seen January and February and the next one after that would be May and June, which we've not had May and June yet. We've had most of May, but we haven't had June yet. Should we just check because I'm all over the gaff. Um, okay, haven't done a haul for a while. Books I've bought so far this year. Yeah, that would have been January and February. I'm just really late doing this video, essentially. So uh march and april now i bought four books in march three books in april just checking my list now in march the books i read i bought them all when i went on a trip to bath i was just trying to remind myself so if you see my bath reading did i do a bath reading vlog no i didn't do a bath reading vlog i did a cornwall reading vlog um i put my bath books on my instagram page um i bought some books in bath now i've got have I got all of them here? No, I'm missing one. <laughs> so the first book that I bought, which was in like a little secondhand stall in the market, is The Girls by Lisa Jewell. I just hadn't seen this one before. I'm dropping books. I hadn't seen this one before. Um, I like a Lisa Jewell book, going through the process of collecting her thrillers. So I thought, well, why not pick that up? I can't remember how much it was. Oh, £3.75. So it was a little bit more pricey. To be honest, can't believe I paid £3.65, looking back now. Um, but I'd not seen it before and I was just kind of excited to see a book I wanted to buy. So I bought that one. This says, um, you live in a communal garden square where your children run free. You've known your neighbours for years and you trust them implicitly. You think the children are safe, but are they really? Midsummer night and a girl is found unconscious in a dark corner of the garden. What's happened to her? Who is responsible? Same kind of Lisa Jewell vibes as always, I think. Um, next, we've got The Swimmers by Julie Otsuka. I think I bought this one in Mr. B's Emporium. Oh, I've got the receipt in here. I'll tell you. Hold on. Upside down. Yeah, Mr. B's Emporium of Reading Delights. Now, this one here, should we read from this page? This, I just, I like swimming at the moment. I'm obsessed with swimming. I love my swims. So I just kind of, that's what that looks like. Um, I probably picked this up for that reason. <laughs> It says the swimmers are unknown to one another except through private lane routines slow lane medium lane fast lane and the solace each takes in their morning or afternoon laps of the local pool until one day a crack appears beneath its surface one of these swimmers is alice in whose memory cracks appear cracks are also beginning to appear without the fellowship of other swimmers and the routine of her daily laps she is plunged into dislocation dislocation in chaos um sweeps into memories of her childhood, the Japanese-American incarceration camp where she spent the war and the child she lost. Uh, as Alice clings to tethers of her past in a home she feels certain is not her home, her daughter must navigate the newly fractured landscape of their relationship. Very symbolic. Mmm. Interesting. I just think it's going to be good. Whoa. And it's not very big. It is... Drum roll, please. If I find a page number. 176 pages long. 176 is there another few after that about 176 pages long which is really not long at all so you could question why i haven't read that yet um i also bought while paris slept i bought this one in waterstones because it has this sprayed edge it's got the eiffel tower on its side and i just absolutely love that so i bought that for that very reason now this one here I feel like I had seen it before I went to Bath and I'd already been a little bit like, oh, do you know what, I kind of want that. Um, I think I saw it when I went to the in-person event for Terrible Kindness with Joe Browning Row. So I was very tempted before that. Now the synopsis is, Paris 1944, a young woman's future is torn away in a heartbeat, herded on a train to board, bound for out, 
train bound for Auschwitz. In an act of desperation, she entrusts her most precious... <laughs> can't speak today her most precious possession to a stranger all she has left now is hope santa cruz 1953 jean-luc thought he had left it all behind the scar on his face a small price to pay for surviving the nazi occupation is that right now he has a new life in california a family he never expected to the past to come knocking on his door this is hard to read. On a platform, on a darkened platform, two destinies become entangled. Their choice will change the future in ways neither could have imagined. Sounds interesting, I think. Don't you? I'm, I'm chaos today. Ah, the other book that I bought in March, just jumping from side to side here, was It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, which I have read. It was my first Colleen Hoover book. Be honest, it didn't, it didn't do a lot for me. Uh, it was all right, but it didn't knock my socks off. Um, it's about kind of um, this woman, this man, this love that she had when she was a teenager. It's a little bit domestic violence. Um, it's quite a bit domestic violence. Um, it's just, it wasn't really my cup of tea, to be honest. Um, so I'll, we'll see what my mum thinks. Um, it was all right. I think I still gave it four stars, but it wasn't like what everyone kind of said it was going to be. Um, now for my April reads... Again, one that I haven't got because I've lent it to my mum is one that I actually really enjoyed. And it is The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren, which is two authors. Um, that one is about this. I've spoken about it on another video, actually. Did I buy this? Did I buy this? No, I took this to Cornwall. That's why I've spoken about it. It was in my Cornwall reading vlog. Um, it is about a woman who is a bit unlucky in love. She's raising a child. She's very busy. She's got a lot on her plate. And um, she ends up taking part in this kind of dating scheme thing where you provide your DNA and they will match you up with someone or they try and match you up with someone based on your genetics. And she gets 100% match with the owner of this company, which is called Genetically. And um, he's an absolute a-hole. So it's like their journey of going through and seeing if they are actually compatible or not. And it was just a really, really nice story. So I actually really liked that one. Uh, next, another book I've read. Can you believe I've read so many of these that I've bought? Um, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Now, I didn't like it. I've, I've only just finished this in the past couple of days. I read it as a buddy read. Um, there were some chunks that I quite, that I thought, yeah, this is okay. I don't mind this character, but mostly I just hated all the characters. So sort of annoying, self-centered. I didn't really like the plot, how it like gi jumped, jump, jump, jumped. <laughs> how it jumped around um like you'd be reading one bit and then all of a sudden you'd realize it was like 15 years later like she's been married to this man for 15 years in the space of a 30 page gap i was like what's going on here i'm so confused um i kind of i can see where some of the attraction is for other people but it just wasn't the way that i like to read a book i don't think Taylor Jenkins read is for me i've said before daisy jones and six was not not my cup of tea but I think I might enjoy it in the movie this one I don't think I'd enjoy it as a movie because there's so much jumping around that there's not enough detail in each section for me I want to see more interactions I don't want to know just the gist of what happened I want detail so I think for that reason that's why I didn't like that one I did give it three stars because I can see the benefit that other people might see in it the enjoyment even the entertainment um and then the last book which this one was a pre-order for the paperback version we got in April was The Island Home by Libby Page. Um, hopefully I'm going to read this soon. Um, the only reason that I bought this is because I did read The Lydia and I loved that. Um, but then I read The 24 Hour Cafe and I didn't love that. So, um, but the main character in the story is called Lorna. So... I mean, I mean, it's going to be a good book, surely. So it says, Lorna's world is small but safe. She loves her daughter and the two of them are all that matter. But after nearly 20 years, she and Ella are suddenly leaving London for the Scottish Isle of Kip. A beautiful, remote Scottish island. Did I really say Scottish? I might have. Where Lorna grew up. Alice's world is tiny but full. She loves the community on Kip and how her yoga classes draw women together what, draw women across the tiny island together. Now, Lorna's arrival might help their family find finally mend itself, even if forgiveness means returning to the past. And as the two women find friendship, Lorna also starts to find her place in the world. Could coming home mean starting again. It just sounds really cute, and obviously it's got Lorna in it, so it's going to be good. It is quite chunky, so it might take me a bit of time. I think Lisa at Novel Natters and I are going to potentially read that one together, 
but we'll see. I've done quite well for how many books I've already read before I've brought you this video. The video is late, but you know, that's because I was reading the books, obviously. Um, but yes, that is it. Those are all the books. I bought seven books over two months. Not too bad. Um, May is not being not being so successful. I'll be honest with you. So the May June um, book haul might be a bit more. I try and not buy any for June. Fingers crossed. Don't encourage me. No one tell me to buy any books. I think I might have a pre-order, but I'm not sure. Um, that's that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm trying not to buy too many books. I'm trying to read them instead, which is how I've read some of them uh, so swiftly or fairly swiftly uh, within a two month period. So I'm not. I'm not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad at it. But that is the end of this video. Only time for a real quick one today. My head is just scrambled. I got loads of things to do. So I'm gonna love you and leave you. Um, happy reading and I'll see you all soon. Bye.